bronze buckos bounties yo bucko id zero coming back to you with another figure review today we have another comic figure this one is freaking awesome i just read through all of the crimson empire so i'm pretty excited to get into this this is the star wars black series crimson empire kirkanos well on the box it's going to say carner jacks and honestly for how much you know for how nice of a figure and box art and everything they put in these boxes i'm surprised they made a mistake like that that really sucks but i'm hoping that we do get an actual carner jacks you know the black and red one at some point and i'm also hoping a part of me wants them to purposely misspell that one too so that i don't have two carner jacks on the shelf but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do with that. I don't even know if we're going to get one, but I'm really, really am hoping or that they do do a Carner Jax. But yeah, this is the Kirk Hanos, and we're going to go ahead and get into this box. So we got the Star Wars Crimson Empire. Very nice comic art. I, I love it. <laughs> got Carner Jax. You know, should be Kirk Hanos, but anyways, go to the side of the box. Bam. There's all these awesome comic panels, you know, from when he shoots down the TIE fighter. Here, let me get... Sorry. I'm a little off, can't you tell? I didn't want to be up this early, but I am. <laughs> but yeah, this is when he shoots down the TIE fighter. Got all of his awesome art of him just being badass. Bam. Bottom of the packaging. There you go. Very cool. Top of the packaging. We're surprised they didn't put one of him fighting... Carner Jacks, but I that would be too easy, right? Not even you don't even have the right character that you label the box. <laughs> Back of the box, Star Wars Legends, you know, same deal as always. Carner Jacks, which yeah, this Kirk Hanos art, very nice. I'm loving this. Then bam, ready for the money shot. There you go. Oof, looking good. Here he is in the packaging. For those of you wondering, yes, he is. A completely different red than the normal Royal Guard which we'll get in that in a second but that's freaking awesome let's take a look at this box art BAM Carner Jax <coughs> Kirkanos training himself in the ways of the dark side of the force Carner Jax became one of the most formidable members of the Imperial Guard he betrayed the Brotherhood by that is the right right description for Carner Jax so I'm wondering if we are going to get a Carner Jack soon. And that almost makes me wonder if they just got the box, the, I don't know, something messed up there. Um, so they did like half their research. But I'm really hoping that at some point they give us a Kirk Hanos Carner Jacks, you know, box swap thing. Who knows? Maybe they'll correct, go back and correct this. I don't know. But that's a pretty big mistake, Hasbro, especially for... Uh, awesome character like this, but I uh, also say I should I do absolutely love this art right here It is so freaking awesome, but I think it's about time. Let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging And here he is out of the packaging and I am so sorry guys. I totally forgot about the money shots I I just wanted to rip him out of the packaging. Yeah, I, I really did but here he is out of the packaging and we have one last surprise you already know about this if you watched any reviews or looked at any Art, but oh look how good that looks oh my god that looks so good now on camera it's picking up a darker purple but I don't know in real life it looks like a lighter purple but either way this thing this is an awesome cape look how good this is oh my god I'm sorry this is a cloth goods for the win you you sir are about to win cloth goods of the year that is what you are about to do when cloth goods of the year <laughs> you yeah you win cloth goods of the year most likely because look I just oh, I just want to play it this it looks so good ah oh, but it just like ah oh, there's no way to like display it like there you, you yeah there you go now in the Crimson Empire I don't actually think they show any purple so I think they went ahead and just did that for just did that for him and honestly I'm okay with that because that's beautiful yeah that really shows that it, it, he is one of the elite guards he, he he's above his rank so that's awesome but yeah anyways we're gonna go ahead and get, 
accessories and we already got this here all right quickly before my neighbors decide to be a dickhead again <laughs> sorry guys I I woke up this morning to uh, this loud ass truck in front of my house and it's I have been it's been there since 8 a.m. and it is currently 1030 and I really thought by now it would have been gone I planned to record this way before actually I wanted to be sleeping honestly right now before I had to go to work but anyways here's his weapon I'm not really sure what this is called but this is one of the um, weapons given to the guards this is one of those given to the elite royal guards and this thing is freaking awesome um, it's in a very nice very nice silver that goes into black at the hilt and I am honestly wondering if this thing is really fun to twirl around I'm sorry this thing is really cool it's like choo -choo. now this thing is supposed to retract into in the comics is supposed to retract into the hilt yeah this thing is supposed to kind of retract in and out and kind of be like a vibroblade type of deal um, so I was kind of hoping that these would be removable but they are they do appear to be molded in or at least yeah they they do appear to be molded in there so that's really unfortunate I would really liked if they they let them be removable but that's not the end of the world because I I really can't see a situation besides the stop motion where you you would take this out and you know do whatever but this is really cool let's see how he holds it fairly well not too bad um, this head I want to just pose him like a badass with this head mold it will not allow that so that's unfortunate but yeah and I know he just looks like a big red blob on my camera but that's kind of how he looks in real life I'm not gonna lie but he's looking really good we're gonna go ahead and get straight into this figure so of course I already talked about how amazing this cloth goods is and of course I forgot about his other accessory but that is his scout trooper pistol and that goes ahead and rubber bands in here now this is one of those situations where honestly this this holster is really good for the scout trooper pistol I don't think there's gonna be any problems with it really in the future where it's gonna fly out of here but it's actually almost doesn't even want to come out of here but yeah that's really good good now I see a lot of people want to put it in this hand you could put it in this hand but it, he's definitely supposed to hold it in this hand which that's very cool that they made a whole hand just for him to hold it so um, I don't think he ever uses this so th honestly this is more of just a thing that came with the original Royal Guard and they didn't want to just have a whole thing here that you aren't using so I mean the Royal Guards are gonna have pistols so it's kind of cool that they have that so that's awesome I already went ahead and talked about how amazing this cloth goods is and I'm glad that it doesn't wrap all the way around him or anything but the one thing I say would say I really would want with this figure though is a removable mask. So a head swap, a head swap would have been really cool here, but whatever, it's not the end of the world. But let's go ahead and compare him to the Royal Guard now, so that you could see. So of course the head mold is the same exact mold, of course, but the difference here you could definitely tell the red is a this is a darker red. This is more of a right, this is more of a cherry red right here. It's very nice, very good. And this is a very, I would want to, this is almost an orange red, I feel like, but it's almost, it's kind of like the cloud car red or more of the um, original red color that they made the original figures in, I think. So that's actually kind of cool, not going to lie, but yeah, he's looking very nice here. Let's go ahead and get some uh, <laughs> in skirt. So you can see, yeah, I'm really loving that they changed out the dark red here for the black, so that sticks out, and then they change out the arms to that. Pretty much from what I can see, it is the exact same mold through and through. There's not too much difference. Um, yeah, these both look really good. I'm loving the armor. I'm glad they actually like took the time to sculpt this original mold. And there's some goo on here but I'm, I'm glad they took the time to sculpt this original mold so that they pave way for the other molds in the future here because I really don't think they would have actually went back and done this if he if the original Royal Guard didn't already have um, what he needed to be uh, Carter Jacks and Kirk Anos. so that's really cool um, it's very nicely detailed here I he just kind of I don't know on my camera it's just showing this orange but I mean like that's kind of what you are getting here but 
just a better look at the figure overall and honestly some of these border on orange um, I know he is supposed to be crimson so yeah but he looks more orange to me honestly he really does especially after seeing him next to that cherry red but I actually really dig this this is really really freaking cool um, I love the purple too so when he stands next to the Emperor he's gonna look really good and that's where he is going to stand now I really do want a Carner Jax that would be really nice to have but yeah let's go ahead and get into articulation real quick so we got uh, literally no articulation at the head that's unfortunate got a hinge swivel at the shoulder and that goes up that far not really that far then you have a single jointed elbow, which I mean, like, the original character didn't really need a lot of articulation. It would have been really nice here if they went back and updated the articulation, because this is a really badass character. It does a lot of badass things, so would be nice. Then you got a hinge swivel at the wrist. This one goes up and down, but not too far. He's literally, it literally only goes like that, like, just so you can get it enough so he can hold it, it like he's supposed to. His staff of Ramses, but... Obviously, like I said, this was not meant for uh, Kirkanos, so that's unfortunate. Then this one goes up and down too. This one actually has way more range over here, so this one's going to be definitely the uh, hand he's going to hold it in more. You got a ball joint at the torso that's actually not too bad for an older figure. Then your legs move out this far, back not that far, out this far. It's not the best range for a figure, but I mean, considering that the original one didn't need that much movement, it makes sense. Then you got die swivels, duh, die swivels. I'm actually really digging the stripe that goes down right here. Does this one have a stripe? No, it does not. So that's an added detail. That's an added bonus detail that the original doesn't have. There's no stripe. So I'm glad that they didn't just straight up reuse. I mean, they did just straight reuse it. I'm glad they didn't just like paint and red call it a day they actually made it like different so that's really cool then you got a you can kick his own ass very nice then there's no boot swivels there's a hinge at the ankle and a forward facing pin for rockers now it's time for him to avenge the emperor let's go ahead and get him onto the battlefield so he can kill Carner Jax show him off next to some other figures so of course here he's next to a stormtrooper and lord vader and here he is next to the emperor himself because why not and as always here he is next to luke skywalker squawker and old leflin and he is an awesome figure now i don't know if he is worth a pickup at the moment because i would definitely say go pick him up just because of how awesome he is um but i'm gonna be honest with you right now if they do decide to re-release this other box with the correct updated name, then I'm gonna be kind of mad because, um, I yeah, I just he needs to be Carner or he needs to be Kirk Hanos. So kind of big. How did you mess that up, Hasbro? But honestly, either that or they're gonna make the Carner Jacks in the Kirk Hanos name. So I mean, they already wrote the whole description for. Carner Jack. So I mean, all they have to do is just make the figure black and red, and they pretty much got a whole new figure. And so, only feature would tell. I would definitely say if you're interested in the figure, pick it up. He is awesome. He's super unique. Um, 
I love the kind of orange red that's supposed to be a crimson. I love that. I love the just the I'm, I love the fact that his armor isn't covered up by soft goods and that his soft goods is a beautiful purple. That's freaking awesome. And for me, he's worth the pickup. So plus he's an imperial. So anyways, you could bring him in warm or you could bring him in cold. Thanks for watching and good hunting.